Hello, and welcome to Notability for Newbies. So you've just purchased a Notability app and you don't know where to start. Well, you've come to the right place because I'm here to help. These little bite-sized videos will show you three simple hacks or lessons in about two minutes. There will be a new video next week with three new tips. And if you haven't already, check out the first two bite-sized videos. Links in the description below. Lesson number one. Understanding your themes feature. The themes feature in Notability allows you to adjust the appearance of the app. You can choose between light, dark, and even seasonal themes. Step one, pull up your home screen, which is the screen that appears when you first turn your app on. Select the little gear button that's located on the bottom right hand of the screen. For those of you who have eagle eyes, you'll notice that on the bottom of the page there, I already have my winter theme set. Step two, a new window is going to appear. From there, select themes. Moving along to step three, choose the theme that you want. The Notability app offers you free options such as light, dark, and even seasonal ones. And if you want to be extra fancy, you can purchase paid custom themes as well. Lesson number two is particularly fun because this is where you choose the paper for your notes and documents. The documents feature in the Notability app allows you to adjust the appearance of your note paper. Here are just a few examples. There are a lot more to choose from. Step one, go and pull up your home screen again and select that little gear button on the bottom of the screen. Step two, hold your finger down and select the document option. In step three, you will select the edit button on the right hand side of your screen. Step four, a new window is going to appear and this is where the fun begins. This is where you get to select the paper background of your choice. And in the same window, you can also select your color as well. And there you go. Now you know how to customize all your notes and papers. On a side note, I personally like to use the white page with the dots the most. Lesson number three, how to select your fonts with the typing option. Step one, while you know the drill by now, Go to your home screen and select the little gear button on the bottom of the page. Step two, a new window is going to appear for you and you will select the typing option on the left hand side of the screen. Hold your little finger down on the font option, which will make a little window appear with all the fonts that are available to you. And from there, all you need to do is select the font that you wish for. On the same window, you can also adjust the size of your fonts, not to mention options such as bolding, italics, underlining, and etc. So now, whether you use your keyboard or your Apple Pencil slash stylus, the default font and size that you chose will appear. I hope you found this video helpful. It was made with tender love and care. Stay tuned next week for your next bite size Notability app tutorial. Thank you very much for watching and please support a small content creator such as myself by pressing the like and subscribe button. See you next week. Bye!